Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and a nice package has arrived from a collection in the UK. A really huge uh, variety of magazines dating back from the 1930s up until you could say I guess the late 90s. Um, really covering quite a lot, a large um, period of the history of bodybuilding. Just want to go through yeah, I mean, it's a really expansive uh, collection here. Um, thank you to the person that sent it. He was actually starting off with a German magazine with Frank Zane on the cover. Uh, this was basically the equivalent of the Wieder mags in Germany, right? Because Germany was always very huge of, with bodybuilding, especially in the golden era, thanks to Arnold. Uh, we've got here um, the Muscle Digest, another different magazine that was out in the 70s shape up uh, this is basically um, a magazine from Weida which kind of started looking more into fitness so it started deviating away from from bodybuilding and I guess starting to promote fitness as you can see there that's from 1974 moving now back to the earlier part of the century We've got here a very rare collection of magazines, The Bodybuilder. These were edited by George F. Jowett, who of course was an inventor. Now, George F. Jowett, of course, was the inventor of many pieces of uh, bodybuilding equipment that we use nowadays, and also came out with many courses at the time. He was a student of L. Lederman, and anyway, he came out with this um, very short... I guess, um, I'll say, for a very short period of time, he came out with the bodybuilder. And as you can see, he was advertising his cause, cause, uh, courses. Uh, very famous, molding a mighty arm and back and legs, etc. courses. And yeah, you can just I'll just quickly go through. That's an actual picture of him, a drawing of him. George F. Jowett, champion of champions, an English, British strongman. Um, you can see the kind of articles that are in here all about bronze era training because these are from the either late 1920s or early 1930s. I can't quite remember how to train at home. All these kinds of awesome uh, exercises illustrated in here from the bronze era featuring bronze era strongmen. Uh, really awesome stuff from uh, these magazines. Very rare, hard to acquire. Glad I got these. Looking at now Iron Man. Iron Man, of course, initially started by Piri Raider and later taken over by John Ballack. Actually, this, incidentally, is a photo by John Ballack, as you can see, of Ken Passariello uh, on the beach. And it's from, I'm, I'm assuming, a very late, there it is, 1981, so late 80s, uh, when Iron Man was still being um, uh, run by Piri Raider. Uh, moving on to some even rarer magazines here. We've got here a physical culture for mind and body by uh, Berna McFadden. And this actually magazine run from, ran from the 1800s, believe it. The very, the very late 1800s, all around up till, uh, I believe, 1950s and 1960s. One of the longest running magazines of all time. And as you can see, it was really about uh, just a health and fitness magazine for all women men children etc it was all about sports and just keeping healthy of course it, it was featured um, bodybuilders in there and models etc but yeah i mean these are i guess interesting to see um yeah i mean i don't know how much you can really expect to learn from these magazines sometimes i have to admit they, they feature some pretty amazing stories and and information on strongmen that's the, the stuff i'm mostly interested in in reading from these magazines but um yeah mcfadden i'll say was a rather eccentric type and i'd kind of say i agree with everything that he said in these magazines but nevertheless these were the magazines of the time now there's also these collection of uh, several folders full of magazines that i'm only just starting to look inside he was starting off with Strength and Health, some very rare copies from the 1930s. Um, these I find very 
interesting because they usually contain information on John Grimmick and other um, Bronze Era or even earlier I should say Silver Era and Bronze Era strongmen and bodybuilders because back then it was hard to really distinguish between the two of them um, they basically practiced everything Olympic lifting bodybuilding etc and yeah you often find really very good information in these um, in these books I mean here's one great example you know just just flicking through this I see um, this is what I mean this guy's Arthur Danduran and he's 67 years of age right now look at that, he's got an enormous bicep peak, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you just find and go, wow, I mean, um, it's really fascinating, I love exploring the uh, the history of physical culture because we really do see extraordinary examples of, of health and vitality, uh, drug free of course, uh, back in these days, and the information held within really is the key to all these uh, wonderful physiques we see back then. So I'll just quickly go through some of these for you. As we can see, he's more strength and health, looks like from the 1950s. Um, they're all over the place, I admit. Um, 1946, you know, we got 1950 again, etc., etc. You know, just uh, great stuff. Some are missing covers, so I'm really after going to have to go through this and sort this properly. Another great collection here now of Muscle Mag magazine, Robert Kennedy's magazine from the 70s. And I have to admit that I really started to enjoy reading uh, Muscle Mag because um, they've got some very interesting stories. For example, here, the Iron Guru story to Gironda story number two. There's, there's a lot of information that I found on Steve Reeves, on, again, there's lots of Vince Gironda here, lots of information on Vince Gironda. There's also information on Reg Park, as you can see, uh, Rocky, the secrets of, of Rocky's programs. And for those that have been watching uh, my channel, and been asking where I get a lot of this information from. You can see it's all over the place. Like by going through these mags, getting these collections, eventually I I just come across these articles and I start doing research and I can start connecting things together. It's it's from all over the place. But yes, Rocky's program is held within. I've already read that magazine in the past. It's it's brilliant, and um, it's very different to the information you find on the internet. That's for sure. Here's another Muscle Digest, I actually have to separate that out. Muscle Mag Annual with Chris Dickerson, covering, of course, here uh, the win by Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's an Olympia special. More Muscle Mag. Incredible Hulk. And yes, I do want to look at, uh, at uh, of course, Lou Ferrigno's training for the Incredible Hulk, which, of, of course, will be found within these magazines, I hope. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope. And yeah, there's just so much stuff here. Really, really awesome stuff. That's Andreas Carling. Yeah, Rocky again. There's another great magazine on Rocky. Um, yeah, it's just really so much information here. Oh, that's a double duplicate. Oh, yeah, there you go. Even Jay Cutler. Arnold, another exclusive interview as well. Probably from, um, that looks like his movie, oh, Eraser, actually. So there might be his uh, training program for Eraser in there. Who knows? So continuing, we've got another folder here. And this one's got muscle mags from Joe Weider. Featuring uh, Lou Ferrigno here on the cover. So I'm assuming... Again, that these might hold information on the Hulk. I will have to read these. Here we've got Robbie Robinson and Sergio on the cover. Mike Mensa. What else have we got here? Oops. We've got another one from Lou Ferrigno. Really good stuff here. 
This is an awesome shot of Robbie Robinson, one of his one of my favorites actually of Robbie Robinson. Um, again, fantastic collection here of the Muscle Max from the 70s that a lot of us old school fans grew up with. Carl Skalak. He's a really cool one. Featuring Don Peters and, and uh, the late Dave Draper. Late 60s. Oh, sweet. There's one of Sergio Oliva. They've even drawn up a, a little mo on, on Sergio. Amazing, amazing cover. The covers were amazing, weren't they? Frank Zane, after winning the Olympia, I'm assuming. Oh, no. Before he won his first Olympia. But you can see he was being uh, already more or less advertised. Here we go. The year of Zane. They start advertising as they did. The year of Zane. There's Dan Padilla as well. Oh, there's a duplicate there. Mensa was being hyped up as the new Olympia back then. Arnold, Zane, and more Arnold, right? Arnold was everywhere, wasn't he? So was Zane, Lou, all the greats back then in these magazines. Finally, the last folder here, also featuring Muscle. Muscle was basically the um, magazine that followed from muscle builder and power and then of course it became muscle and fitness and flex was born as well because muscle and fitness didn't just focus focus on muscle and fitness but it was the going to be the hardcore bodybuilding magazine for bodybuilders here's where stallone started being um promoted as well in bodybuilding contests right here he is in a bodybuilding contest when he hit the big time with Rocky. Another one of the same. There's a lot of duplicates, I admit. Mensa again. Ferrigno. Ferrigno. I really am intrigued about Ferrigno's workouts, especially as he started to transition into a star and um, playing the Incredible Hulk, of course, which I want to cover on my new series of the action stars of the 80s, etc. Here's just the trophy. Here's the same mag again, Zane and Padilla. Here's a very f infamous <laughs> way to bust. The story, of course, is that uh, Robbie Robinson st uh, stood in uh, Joe Weider's office for hours, I think for a week or so, having photos done and sculptures, etc. And then they copied his bust completely, chopped his head off, and put Joe Weider's on top. <laughs> Thank you very much, Robbie Robinson. <laughs> oh, wow. This is uh, interesting. Wow, that's uh, a really cool ad of R Steve Reeves. <laughs> wow. A subscription offer from Muscle Mag. This has got to go with the Muscle Mag. This is an, an original subscription and, um, slip with Steve Reeves on it for Muscle Mag. That's pretty awesome. I love finding these cool things. Here's a uh, Muscle, again... Now with the um, Sandow Trophy, so, sorry, the Sandow uh, Trophy on the cover. Muhammad Ali. Awesome if I could find his program in here. That would be awesome to cover as well, actually. That would be pretty sweet. I'll see if I can find that. Um, I actually had a very quick flick through the mag, and it's just a cover, unfortunately. That's what's so, um, I guess, deceiving about some of these magazines sometimes the cover shows someone you're really interested in learning about but they don't actually have anything on it so um yeah they only use the cover for a quote from muhammad ali stronger boxes make better boxes weight training is the key so unfortunately there's no uh training method here for muhammad ali but i'm sure there's something maybe in these mags um yeah it's been awesome going through this collection so yeah i do hope you have enjoyed watching this uh, video on this collection that's come from Britain featuring magazines from the 70s, 80s, 90s and all the way back from the 1920s. Pretty awesome stuff. Would love to get through all of this. It's going to take a long time but uh, yeah it's always fun to go through these mags, read them and share the information. So if you've enjoyed watching the video please give the video <clears throat> a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave me your comments. 
Thanks always for watching, and that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooken.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platt, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding.